Peace and love you, beautiful miracles of a spiritual level of being. Nathan here from the spiritual level of being, and today I want to discuss aliens, angels, demons, high level beings, part two. Now, many ancient alien theorists like to say that the word alien has been used throughout countless textbooks throughout the centuries and many religious dogma. Now, this is true, but the word alien was used in, say, this lady wore alien jewellery. Her dress was alien. This man come from an alien country. So alien meant strange. It meant foreigner. It meant foreign. Out of this world. Now, today's society, it means foreigner still, or it means extraterrestrial. Now, people compare alien to so aliens to us, or, well, higher-minded versions of us, or evil galactic conquerors, etc. This is because we have only known ourselves. Now, this being said, the Hermes Paradox suggests that intelligent life is common and people say, well, why haven't we made contact with higher life? And this can also go entwined with the alien zoo hypothesis that says, well, suggests that Earth has been isolated, if you will, that there's no interference on their behalfs and it's to let us evolve and learn at our own pace. Now, this being said, all evolution is entwined, so their evolution will be entwined with us, as everything of this universe is mental. Now, this also being said, we're in a state of survival currently. So, if there were advanced species, they would be in an advanced planetary civilization. They would have gone beyond the need of simple wars and trying to conquer the galaxy, as they would burn out their energy, they would burn out their resources, and then cease to be. Now, I'm not saying that this hasn't happened out there in the universe, who knows, or it's still going on, but this is unlikely as it would burn out its resources. It would start developing and it would start learning to be more rational, more aware, more compassionate, more loving. Now, as it evolves even further in the state of world peace, it would go beyond the need of a planet. It would go beyond the need of needing a body. So this would become then an advanced being. So not of this realm. Uh, network unity, if you will. So consciousness returning to its source. Now, this is the purpose of a planet in order for it to support avatars, bodies, the mind, which is what you really are. You're not really a body, you're a mind, you're a mathematical level mind, a soul. In order for this to develop and learn and come to self-awareness. So working together, no longer need to evolve, returning to its source. Now, the higher level beings, angels, if you will, these are not extraterrestrials, though they might have been in their past lives. This being said, all life is connected, everything is mental. So this could have also been an ancestor, your past life. The reason why I say ancestor or even a loved one is because they live on in your memories as everything is mental. So this can be understand through meditations, maybe the use of psychedelics, these sort of answers from within that led our ancestors to journey from within oneself was how they gained knowledge to build such monoliths, to work together, to exchange ideas. They got a glimpse of something higher than themselves. Now, this also mentions about, well, makes more sense with why there's no interference. As we have evolved when we come across tribes that are uncontacted, we let them be, we observe. So the visitors here would simply be observing Taking water samples, leaving. Why water? Because if you want to understand life, you would search the waters. As we come out of the oceans, life begins from water. So water is universal. We have found planets out there that are even larger than Earth that can support life. Though NASA will only show CGI photos as the light for hides and things. Now, demons are also reflections of oneself, as are the angels. We can also be demons and angels. So people don't like to connect their own selves with anything dark, and only light. Now, we have all carry in certain emotions, whether it be positive or negative, and to explore your negative side, to truly confront it can be damn right scary. Now, with the ancient Gnostics, when they were telling everything of everything's of mind, of mental, this took away the role of demons in a sense, if you will. So people got angry saying, oh, well, I made all these mistakes. You can't be right. And this is one reason why Gnostics were killed. So everything is a reflection of consciousness of yourself. So this also goes in reincarnation, evolution, as this is the answer of life, about love and learning, compassion. So life is the ultimate recycler. It recycles and renews itself. 
sorry, old plants will die, new plants will build. Well, new plants will form, new life will form. Now, as we also evolve, we've gone through resets. We've lost technology, rediscovered technology, improved that technology, and even made new technology. When technology starts serving the people and leading towards a rational, compassionate society of its own self-sufficiency and advancement, it truly evolves. So evolution takes within the mind first. So if they were higher-minded, they would have figured this out. So they would be focused on their own self-sufficiency, so their own self-sufficiency, their own evolution, their own progression. So you wouldn't have this whole big galactic conference in a sense, all these species mingling as it would also halt back their own progress as everyone would have their own ideologies, there would be diseases, etc. So they would more, in a sense, exchange knowledge. So they would, in a sense, sort of keep to themselves and it would be sort of on this for safety and also for their own progression. So working together. So this being said, it would be about focusing on self-sufficiency, their own evolution, and also repairing damages of their own planet. Say if they've evolved similar to us and gone through similar stuff to us, they would have figured out the wrongdoings and gone back resetting the damage and focusing on their own self-sufficiency, not burning out their resources and pretty much making themselves extinct, fighting over shitty things. So they would be more compassionate coming together. So this is every well, this is my explanation. Everything is suggestion, everything is an idea. So it's up to you how you take this. And I'm just putting it into a spiritual mind sense. So peace and love, everyone. I love you all. Connect till one minus soul. Namaste.